Umar ibn al-Khattab ta'ala anhu, was stabbed by a Persian Majus, a fire worshipper, in the 23rd year of Hijrah. With this unfortunate event, the greatest and the most successful Khilafah of the Ummah had finally come to an end. And Umar was on his deathbed with deep wounds on his body for three days. So during these three days, Umar issued his final order as a Khilafah. Order. Not a request, not a suggestion, not just an ordinary speech, but an order. The final order of Umar ibn al-Khattab was I have appointed a shura of six people, a gathering of six people, all of whom is qualified for Khilafah. And these six people were Usman ibn Affan, Ali ibn Abi Talib, Abdul Rahman ibn Auf, Talha ibn Ubaidillah, Zubair ibn al awwam and Saad ibn Abi Waqqas. Usman, Ali, Abdul Rahman, Talha, Zubair and Saad. And Umar said that one of these six people should become the next Khalifa. Umar understood that these are his final days. So he said that after I have died, within three days, by the third morning, you should have your new Khalifa. And for these three days, Suhaib al-Rumi will lead the Salah. Suhaib al-Rumi was among the earliest converts in Mecca. He was not a Qurayshi, rather a freed slave. He was a freed slave. And he had a beautiful voice, a beautiful tajweed. So Umar who appointed him to be the Imam of Masjid al-Nabawi while the next Khalifa is being elected. So the only appointed Imam other than the Khulafa during the reign of Khulafa al-Rashidin was, this is a quiz question, Suhaib al-Rumi. And it was a Sunday morning that Umar radiallahu anhu left this world. By the way, he too was 63 years old at his death, just like Rasulullah was 63 years old and Abu Bakr was 63 years old when they passed away. On the Sunday morning, Umar died and the same morning, the six people gathered together. The six people gathered for what purpose? To elect the new Khalifa. Now how do these six people choose the Khalifa? Umar did not say that. He said that one of you should be the Khalifa. All of you are qualified. One of you should be the Khalifa. How? How are you going to elect that? Umar did not say that. So now these six people have to decide who is to become the new Khalifa. Abdul Rahman ibn Auf anhu, was the first one to speak among the six. And he said at least he was the first one who is recorded to have spoken. And he said, let any three of you voluntarily step out of the race of Khilafah. We are six people. Let three of you voluntarily go out. Say, go out means step out of the race of Khilafah. And in your place, nominate somebody else. Now, who of you three are willing to do this? This is voluntary. Any three of you can leave and say that instead of me, I am electing him or I am nominating him. Now, why three people? Why did he say three? Why did he say three? I will come to it in a while. You will understand, inshallah. So out of six people, Zubair ibn al-Awwam said, I do not want to be the Khalifa. I nominate Ali ibn Abi Talib in my place. On a side note, Zubair and Ali were cousins as well. Then Talha, he said that I do not want to be the Khalifa as well. I nominate Usman ibn Affan in my place. And Saad ibn Abi Waqqas, he gave the vote or he nominated Abdul Rahman ibn Auf and he stepped out. So from six, three people stepped out and three remain. Those three who remain are Usman, Ali and Abdul Rahman. Now Allah knows the truth but it seems to be that Abdul Rahman already thought out of these six people, Usman and Ali are two most deserving candidates. So maybe Abdul Rahman thought when he will say three people voluntarily step out, it will be Talha, Zubair and Saad and all of them three will vote for the same person or at least two will vote for one and one will vote for somebody else. He did not expect that anybody will vote for him. He thought that all three will vote on Ali and Usman. So this was an intelligent and wise decision that three of you step out voluntarily and vote for somebody else. He thought it in the right way but it did not happen as he thought. Saad voted for Abdul Rahman himself and now it's one each. Ali has one vote, Usman has one vote and Abdul Rahman has one vote. Now Abdul Rahman says that I don't want it. 
I don't want the Khilafa. So I stepped down voluntarily as well. So now from three, only two remain, Uthman and Ali. Now Abdurrahman says, let one of you two, Uthman and Ali, voluntarily step back and let the other person to become the Khalifa. At this, both Uthman and Ali were quiet. They were both silent. Both Uthman and Ali felt that I can be a Khalifa. And there is nothing wrong in that. No. So they, so none of them say that I voluntarily step back and they both stay there. Now, the way the voting, the way the election has came out, the voting, the final vote remains with Abdurrahman. Why? Because the voting goes like this. Talha voted for Usman, Zubair voted for Ali, Saad voted for Abdurrahman. Then Usman voted for himself and Ali voted for himself. Who hasn't voted yet? Abdurrahman hasn't voted yet. So Abdurrahman's vote is remaining. So Abdurrahman, he is going to vote either for Ali or Usman. And whomsoever he votes is going to become the Khalifa. Are you understanding? Now Abdurrahman says, Will you both agree to me to be the arbitrary between the two of you? And both Usman and Ali says, Yes. And look at it, this is politics at its best. No one said, Vote for me. Oh Abdurrahman, vote for me. No one said nasty things about the other, pointing out the faults of other. No. Both are standing and both kept quiet and silent and both said we are agreed upon whomsoever you elect. How are the times of election in today's era? And this is the ideal Islamic politics. Compare the two. These are the kind of legends we look up to. So finally, Abdurrahman says, both of you have to agree that you will Listen to my choice and I promise you by Allah that I will do my utmost best to choose the one who is better qualified amongst you. And let me think about it. Umar who gave three days time, right? So Abdurrahman, what an intelligent and wise person he was. He spent the complete 72 hours thinking and going house to house and asking all the Sahaba and even the delegations from outside of Medina who had come at the news of death of Umar he met with different people he utilized the complete 72 hours how wise he was he could have voted right over there but he utilized all the time that Umar had given and he even had the opinions of the ladies of Medina from behind the curtains he went house to house and asked the ladies to speak to him from, the, from behind the curtains so even the female opinions were taken into consideration that cannot be called as vote female votes were not taken that cannot be called as vote because the final vote is with Abdurrahman. But the, but the opinions of the females and everyone from Medina and even from outside who had come was taken by Abdurrahman. And he also visited Usman and Ali privately. And he asked to Usman, if you are not chosen, O Usman, then who of the six is the most qualified to be the Khalifa in your opinion? And Usman said, Ali. And Abdurrahman asked the same question to Ali and Ali said Usman. Subhanallah, this is the Islamic politics at its best. And that is why they are called Khulafa Rashidin. Then on Wednesday morning, that's the deadline. So that was a deadline which Omar gave. You should have the Khalifa within three days after my death. So Abdurrahman literally took all of his time for deciding between the two. And on Wednesday after Fajr, Abdurrahman who climbed up the member. And he was wearing the turban of the Prophet ﷺ, which he had. And he gave a khutbah and praised Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And immediately after that, without creating any suspense, he directly looked at Ali and he said to him directly, O oh Ali, I thought carefully about this matter. And I asked the believers and I realized that all of them would agree for Usman. So do not have anything in your heart against this decision. And think about it, rather than speaking to Usman and telling him that you are the Khalifa, Abdurrahman rather spoke to Ali and told him that you are also good enough. But the Ummah agrees, I think the Ummah will agree upon 